it's Nerdcat, and I'm back with another Nerdtastic Halloween episode. And this is my first full costume episode. I have two more after this. And in case you couldn't guess, I'm Alphaba from Wicked. Um, I really love the musical, and I love Alphaba's character. I have read the book, and I do enjoy the writing. It's just not my favorite book. I do like the, the musical ending better, but I digress. But I love Alphaba. I have, I have to say there are a lot of similarities that I find with me and Alphaba. So I strongly relate to her and I really wanted to do a costume designed around her character. So I decided to do like a school Alphaba. I know this isn't exactly the outfit she was wearing, but I wanted to see if I could create the same kind of aesthetic and look, and I think it looks really cute. It's also showing that you can create a character around clothes you already own in your house. So if you want to see how to become this wicked awesome witch, stick around. Okay, so let's go. As you can see, I already got that wig cap on. Um, in my other video, I already told you how I apply it. There are other videos if you want to see how to apply a wig cap. Anyway, I'm using my wolf face uh, aqua paints once again to cover my entire face in green. Uh, since this is Alphaba, your main priority here is to cover every part of your body that is going to be shown in your costume green. This takes a long time because you're covering your body in green paint. It's gonna take a while for me luckily enough I just had to do my face neck and chest and then my hands later on uh, it really depends on what your costume how much uh, skin is showing in your costume anyway as you can see I'm just applying with a sponge the water activated paints and it took me a couple coats to get to the green that I wanted so it really depends on how green you want your skin to look you don't have to use aqua paints as i've said before there are many other options you could use oil paints you could use alcohol activated paints you could use uh cream paints eyeshadow liquid lipsticks anything to get that green color that you want if you don't want to get the aqua paints or something like that you got many options all i'm saying is you're gonna make yourself green and that's what's gonna happen so let's speed up this process shall we Okay, so now that I'm all green, I'm going in with the Alice uh, Through the Looking Glass palette from Urban Decay. And I'm first basing out my eyes in the green aqua paint, so I have a flat canvas to build up the eyeshadow. The first eyeshadow I'm going in with is called Hatter. It's a dark green eyeshadow. And I'm going to be using a, another brush handle to wing out the eyeshadow. Um, I'm using reference photos from the Broadway makeup team for Alphaba so that I can base my eyeshadows off of it and for young Alphaba it's mostly dark green with a light green center and brown on the outer corners so I tried to keep to that. Now I'm going in with Heads Will Roll which is a lighter bluish green right in the center of my eye. It gives a nice gradient to the dark green and also it's just a really pretty color.
now I'm going in with Lily, which is a very pearlescent uh, white color. It wasn't in the makeup, but I really think it adds something. So I'm using that on my brow boy bone and inner corner as a highlight, which I think rounds out the eyeshadow. Now I'm contouring my nose a little bit with a dark green eyeshadow. I wanted to contour my jawline as well, but I completely forgot when I was doing this makeup. But I highly recommend doing that because it will give a nice like fade from your jaw to your neck. Since it's all green, it's kind of hard to find those shapes. I'm also doing a light contour on my cheeks. Um, I didn't do a lot because in the... Uh, makeup photos the young alphaba only has slight contouring her face was more rounded so I wanted to keep to that I then go in with heads will roll again as kind of a highlight contrast color to the um, contour and a little bit of Lily as well to give a nice sparkle Now for my eyebrows, I went in with Time, which is a dark black. So I just kind of followed my own eyebrow shape because the photo showed very similar shape to my own where it's thicker in the middle and tapers out near the end. So I just followed my own, but keeping in mind of the reference photo. Now I'm going in with chessboard, which is a um, dark, uh, nice matte brown for the outer corner of my eyeshadow to round out the greens. I think this brown is a very nice add-on that they did, and I really like it because it brings out my brown eyes, so that's cool. I'm also touching up the other eyeshadows to make sure they're just as vibrant. Now for my lips, I had a little bit of trouble because in all the photos, it's a different lip color. You have black, you have a dark green, you have a red. So I just decided to keep it a kind of lighter green. So I outlined it with some gray then went in with some green eyeshadows uh, at first. Then went in with a black and outlined it a little bit in black and then buffed it out with some more green um, eyeshadows and green body paint so that it's more of a faded black outline and not so harsh. I then went in with more greens and a little bit of lily in the center to make it sparkle a little. Uh, now I'm blushing my cheeks. I took a cranberry red color and just did the higher parts of my cheek because that is how it is in the photos. I really like this dark blush kind of color. Now for my waterline, it looked like she kind of just took a uh, eye pencil and just kind of ran it across and blurred it out. So I kept to that theme, kind of like if she was just running to class and doing her eyes. I also decided to line, do a thin line on my upper lid just to keep it clean. Um, also, I just really like lining my eyelids. Now, of course, mascara, because where's a girl without her mascara? So I do my top lashes all the way, and then my bottom lashes only on the outer corner, because I like how that looks. I feel like it rounds out the eyes just a little bit.
And that's it for the makeup. So let's see the hair. This is just a black wig from Amazon. I did a quick side braid and a sweep of the bangs to keep to the photos of Young Alphaba. And now for the outfit. So these are just items that I had in my own wardrobe. I kept to the black theme with a Peter Pan collar. And that's it. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, hit that like button. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe. And I'll see you next time. As always, stay nerdy, my friends. Later.